After months of bitter, intense battles, Armageddon seemed to put a bookmark in the chapter of Triple H and Shawn Michaels. But there was certainly no rest for the weary. Just as The Game and HBK were at their most vulnerable, other superstars were making their play to capitalize. HBK really does stand for Has Been Kid. Chris Jericho set his sights on ending the career of his childhood hero, Shawn Michaels. Meanwhile, Booker T challenged Triple H for the coveted World Heavyweight Championship. Triple H may be looking at the next heavyweight champion of the world. Both rivalries would culminate in two epic encounters at WrestleMania 19. Michaels with a roll up. Oh, yes. And a oh, green. Yes. And a green. And it's over. But it wasn't until the night after WrestleMania that the game and HBK would cross paths again, granting a voice of reason to emerge from the shadows. You guys are my friends. We got to get this together. You got to know something, man. It ain't never going to be over between me and Shawn Michaels. You've got to make a choice. It's either him or me. Triple H, defiant in his ways, refused to see the light and tensions would again flare. Thank goodness for Nate and Jericho. They stopped Shawn Michaels at the very, very last second. There's Kevin Nash. Triple H is trying to explain to Nash that Shawn Michaels kicked Triple H. What? What the hell is that about? There's got to be a method to the madness of the game. In the backlash of the destruction, Triple H and Shawn Michaels would be joined by four top contenders in a three-on-three six-man tag team matchup. What a night it's gonna be Sunday at Backlash! Hey, ¿qué onda? Soy Seke, le seguimos jugando WWE 2K15. Y como ya vieron, pues, se está poniendo más bueno el, el guardenga aquí con el Shawn Michaels del Triple H. Ahora vamos a usar a Kevin Nash. Si no, era Kevin Nash. Tucu, tucu, tucu. Vamos a esquip, esquipear. Vamos a saltarnos todas las entradas. Del Ric Flair, Triple H y... Ah, oh, esa no la podía saltar. Bueno. Ten, ten, ten. Supongo que vamos a hacer este... ¡Soco! Bueno Perdóneme, es que me emociona Unos intros sí me emocionan y otros no tanto Entonces, Kevin Nash From Detroit, Michigan, weighing 305 pounds, Kevin Nash. King Kevin Nash has not been in the ring in a match in a long time, but tonight Kevin Nash looks focused, looks ready, and he's got his eyes dead set. Es muy bien lo que está diciendo. But now Nemesis Triple H. Well, you're right about that, Cole. Kevin Nash looks as good as he's ever looked. Pues no sé, pero vamos, creo que vamos a usar a Kevin Nash y vamos a, a jugar a ganar, ¿no? Think about the dichotomy of this match, King. On one side, there you see Booker T, but Shawn Michaels and Kevin Nash. And the relationship they've had with that man, Triple H, over the years, and it's come down to this here tonight. Yeah, Kevin Nash has come back, and he wants to get his hands on Triple H, but look at this. Triple H wants not a big sexy, does he? Jericho in, and here comes Shawn Michaels. Shawn Michaels uh, with a little uh, mocking of the Nature Boy, Ric Flair, there before this match gets underway. Here they go. This could be a good one. King, when you talk about all six of these men, all of them have at one point in their career been at the very top. Oh, without a doubt. And probably the longest man at the top is Nate. Yo pensé que iba a estar a Kevin Nash. Heavyweight champion for years and years and years. And Triple H, world heavyweight champion now. He's been at the top. Y ahora supone que iba a estar a Chris Jericho. 
El felino Boom Well, you see, when you have a hero, and oh, you Señor, justicia, sálvame. I don't know if Shawn Michaels would agree with that assessment. Man. Oh, está perro. Shot. Triple H knows how to oh. polish off an opponent. He just planted him with a DDT. You hear how his leg connected? Go. Si Kevin Nash está bien grandote, ayúdenme perros, son mi equipo. Big Daddy Cool, let's see what he's got. As you said before the match, he hadn't been in the ring competing in a long, long time. Well, it's true, but Kevin Nash still looks to be in prime condition, King. Certainly, one thing we know hasn't changed is that Big Daddy Cool still has that strength. King with six men in and around the ring. Oh, oh we, they're in fuerte, so we. Needless to say, the referee has a lot on his hands tonight. Well, that's putting it mildly, Cole. This would have been a good match to have two or even three referees. Triple H ah. coming into this match as ah. the world heavyweight champion and probably the most feared man in the WWE right now. That world heavyweight championship is a title the game won a little over two months ago at No Way Out and is staunchly defended ever since. And Triple H has been competing with the... Tómala, perro. Tómala. Tómala. He doesn't believe there's anybody that can touch him right now. Ah, maldición. Va a tener que hacer cambio porque being a team and not competing as individuals, but with so many egos in this match and so many guys wanting to go after one other guy, is that even possible? Who knows? I mean, Cole, you have to look at these six individuals and tell me. Who do you think has the biggest ego? To answer your question, it's hard to say who has the biggest ego among these six superstars, but if I had to pick, I'd pick Triple H, the game. He's the best there is, and he will be the first one to tell you that. Wait a minute, Triple H? Really? Come on, it has to be Shawn Michaels. I mean, his ego applied for statehood one time. <laughs> Or what about Kevin Nash? His ego has its own zip code. Triple H has taken control. The question with Kevin Ash coming in tonight was having only come back What a spine buster! Triple H drove him right into the canvas. Watch it! Oh man, that was a sick dud when he hit the concrete. Well, there's the showboat. The one thing you know he's going to try to do in this match is steal face first. Pedigree from the game. You look at Kevin Nash and that size of his. And you know what they say. The bigger they are, the harder they fall, right? No. Usually when it comes to Kevin Nash, it's the bigger they are. The harder they tengo fall. que vencerlo. But the way it looks tonight, I think the bigger they are, the harder they fall might actually be right. Oh, Booker T has got to be fired up. He's had issues with all three of these men at one time or another. Nate, Chris Jericho, and Triple H. Well, especially Triple H. Booker T has big time recent issues with the game after nearly becoming the World Heavyweight Champion less than a week ago. And if you talk about Booker T and Triple H, their backgrounds couldn't be more opposite. I mean, the lives they've come from to get to where they are today are poles apart. Booker T from the mean streets and Triple H from a place of... He can Uno. his opponent right here! Dos! What a decapitating lariat. Playing mind games. Yeah, a little intimidation there. Look at this. He's just barely moving. I'm not sure he can get back to his feet. Ow, hard kick to the ribs. Triple H looking to finish the... Oh, man! Yeah, that'll take the wind out of your sails. Oh, set point! Oh, what a pedigree! There's the cover! Uno, dos, tres! Se acabó! Triple H got it! Lo hicimos!
Tin 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 tin. On Triple H, he's always thinking. He's always got an equalizer. I mean, he's always got backup. Triple H again proving why he's the cerebral assassin king. Why he's the world heavyweight champion. Doing whatever it takes to stay on top. Doing whatever it takes to remain the very best. And if Kevin Nash wasn't angry before, he's angry now. Lorudo, 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 Lorudo. Uy, con martillazo. Coming off a grueling title defense, Triple H was steadily building his legacy as one of the greatest world heavyweight champions in WWE history. The following night on Raw, the game looked to take the night off. However, Stone Cold Steve Austin had other plans. You can pick your own opponent tonight as long as that opponent is a former world champion. I'll wrestle the greatest former world heavyweight champion of all time. Rick Flair. I'm overwhelmed. I mean, this is the greatest thing that's ever happened in my entire life. The best versus the best, just like we talked about. I chose you to stick it up Austin's ass. I chose you not because you're Ric Flair. I chose you because you're Ric Flair. You'll lay down. With Ric Flair's integrity at stake, Shawn Michaels paid Flair a visit to remind him who he was and give the dirtiest player in the game his confidence back. Do you really think I can go out there and be the guy like Triple H right now? I know you can do it. Where's Flair getting this from? After what I saw you do with Triple H. Look at these shots by Flair. Oh, he's a big hit. So he can play. You, Ric Flair, were, are, and will always be the greatest wrestler in the world. And I just want to know if I'm in the same league with Ric Flair. You, Michael, will always be a Ric Flair wannabe. He just stood in front of Michael. I am not the little boy watching my idol. I am a heartbreak kid, the showstopper. You didn't pass the torch to me. I took it from you. Ric Flair, Shawn Michaels, and Bad Blood. The dream match, perhaps of all time. Qué bueno se puso. Bueno, creo que esta va a ser la última pelea. Ya lo voy a dejar hasta aquí porque si no me voy a estar emocionando más y más y más. Game. Qué potente. Mala sangre. Que realmente no se traduce como mala sangre, sino será como rencor o rivalidad, ¿no? Algo así. Será como mala leche. Como... From Charlotte, North Carolina, weighing in at 234 pounds, the Nature Boy, Rip Flair. Who do you think is the greatest champion of all time? To me, it's a toss-up. It's either Ric Flair or Shawn Michaels. Flair dominated the 80s, as no one has ever dominated a decade. Shawn Michaels dominated the 90s. It took what Flair had done to another level. Well, there have been a lot of guys who've wanted to be like Ric Flair. Vamos a ganar ese viejito y nos vamos a casa rápido a dormir. ¿Qué les parece? From just down the road in San Antonio, Shawn Michaels has made his way here to Houston. Well, you said it before, Cole. Nobody dominated the 80s like Nate, Rick Flair. And nobody dominated the 90s like Shawn Michaels. But you know what? This is 2003. Who's going to dominate tonight? Estamos en los 2000. Creo que Randy Orton y John Cena, ¿no? Bueno, de hecho, no, ellos dominaron como quien dice del 2006 hasta la fecha, que son como 6 años nomás. Aunque la verdad ya pasaron bastantes años. Me quedaron las buenas luchas. 
Yo creo que en el 2010 se acabó la... ¡Oh! Tiene bien viejito. Pero en el 2010 creo que se acabaron las buenas luchas y las buenas rivalidades. Cuando Cien Punk se volvió loquito y empezó a cortarse el, cortarse el pelo. Hasta ahí creo que lo dejé de ver. Flair tiene su cult following too, as always. muy tarde, muy tarde. No. And momentum has changed hands once more. Wow, Ric Flair, the dirtiest player in the game, is going to do whatever it takes to put Shawn Michaels in his place here tonight. Flair is just so confident. Some would say borderline arrogant, but Flair de... is so confident. Vale todo, o sea, que puedo golpear, Flair ¿no? is arrogant, and he doesn't apologize for it. He's the nature boy. You know, Shawn Michaels might be as athletic oh. a superstar as we have in WWE today. And that's always the one thing to watch out for in a Shawn Michaels match. With his athleticism, HBK has the ability to dictate the pace of the match like a fast break basketball team. Well, that's if he gets going, Cole. Ric Flair is doing everything he can to prevent Shawn Michaels from getting any kind of momentum in this match. Woo! Well, this isn't the first time these men have been in the ring together, but it is the first time Ric Flair and Shawn Michaels have squared off one on one and it's been building to this king Shawn Michaels and the nature boy were on opposite sides of a six oh jeez ahora como era el especial de Rick Flair Rick Flair going for it wow think of HBK's career and another great moment that sticks out in my mind is the battle HBK had with John Cena at Wrestlemania 23 In front of more than 80,000 fans, Sean proved that once again he can be called on at any time with any opponent and give a thrilling performance. Wants to do here tonight is negate the speed and quickness advantage that Sean Michaels has over him, and it looks like he may be doing it. Well, what's Flair going for here? But wait, reversal by Sean Michaels, and ooh, Flair hit that corner hard. He's dazed. Yeah, really dazed. Here comes HBK. Off Flair in the corner now. Shawn Michaels has him, but wait a minute. Referee, oh, look, oh, at, look that. at that. Blake, low blow. <laughs> I think Ric Flair got both HBK and the referee. What are you going to do now, Nature Boy? Woo! And you can hear the fans willing him onward. But this isn't a no disqualification match. That chair shot landed. Oh, my God. I don't think that chair is going to be good for much after this match. And there he goes under the bottom rope, and maybe some order will be pronto, restored pronto. here. Muy pronto, muy pronto. Estás aprovechando bien las oportunidades. And ladies and gentlemen, oh, that was Vintage Michaels. Salve we'll see just how important Ric Flair's signature move, the figure four leg lock, becomes before the end of this match. When the Nature Boy uses effectively, it's been said that it puts severe pressure on seven different points of your legs. Well, let me tell you something, Cole. I felt it, and I hate it. I don't think there's anything worse than the figure four leg lock from Flair. Well, except maybe for one of his chops. And Ric Flair reverses it. Oh, qué bonito. Desde la vieja escuela. Just trying to goad his opponent into making a mistake here. Shawn Michaels possesses an excellent ground game. Well, to be fair, there isn't much that Shawn's not great at. And the knuckles connect. A quick reversal by Ric Flair. How awesome was that? Look out, Ric Flair is met. Flair with a finger four, but no! Ah, no, no. Official. 
And now Shawn Michaels is ready to go. And he's too. Esquívalo, Rick. Esquívalo. Que confío en ti. Look out, nature boy. And he connects. Oh, okay, creo que. Into the head. Randy Orton. With a steel chair to the. El asesino de leyendas. Of Shawn Michaels. And look at this. He's put nature boy on top of HBK. The youngest member of Evolution. Are you kidding the referee? His bloody flare. And there's the. Pero. Se supone que es el asesino de leyendas. Él es el que derrota al Rick Flair. The Nature Boy Rick Flair is he's almost unconscious. There's no way he could have won this match over Shawn Michaels without the help of Randy Orton. Y Randy Orton apenas es un papagayo. Apenas va y llena las arenas. Rick Flair can barely stand, but Shawn Michaels is out. Yeah, no tatuajes. Ni siquiera tiene tatuajes. Or pay dividends. El asesino de leyendas. Ahí también es conocido como el asesino de leyendas. El cinco, ¿no? What you see in this ring is the greatest example of evolution. As the members of Triple H's new faction, Evolution, continued to grow, so did the problems for the Heartbreak Kid. Shawn Michaels is the next legend that I'm going to kill. It's legend versus the legend killer. Michaels going to... No, he's caught! Sweet chin music! No, but was blocked to the... Oh, sí, he's the assassino of legend. And Orton wins it! The legend killer prevails! Later that same night, Triple H... Ah, we said we were going to leave, right? Bueno, espero les haya gustado. Recuerden dejar like, comentar y nos vemos en el siguiente video. Batista. Bueno, el siguiente video. Al rato. Bueno, más se acaba la, la cinemática y lo dejamos hasta ahí. At the 2003 Survivor Series, the animal would unleash his rage. We're down to Shawn Michaels and Randy Orton. Wait a minute, that animal, Batista, no. Look, Sean, I powerbomb your ass straight to hell. Hey, just come on down, you jacked up Nimrod. ¿Quién miraría ahora a Batista estando en peleando contra 007? Batista, six foot five, three hundred and twenty-five pounds. In thirty years. O como Drax el destructor. I don't think I've ever seen a better big match wrestler than Sean Michaels. O sea, todos contra Sean Michaels. Bueno, ahora sí, nos dejamos hasta aquí. Al rato.